Hello, beautiful beings, and happy leap day. It is February 29th. Once every four years do we get this beautiful day. And I felt inspired to do a channeling for this day, to do a channeling from my lists of channelings. And the one that came through to me that was screaming from the beings of inspiration was the one about the Board of Karma, and more specifically with the Divine Justice Warriors doing a petition to the Board of Karma on behalf of myself, all of you, and the Collective All. So it just feels like the time that we have a chance to start something new. We have a lucky extra day this year. This year is one day longer, and what better use for that day than to you know, learn about our karma, learn about our karmic balance and petition for clearing and cleansing. And I wanted to start this video off by doing some calling forths and protection um, for us all. So first, before I start that, I'm gonna talk about the crystal thing I got right here. Um, broke, actually. Uh, so I have a little clear quartz prism, and I have what was a nice little sun, I'm going to call it a sun, of the different crystals that work with the different chakras. I I'm still going to call it a nice little sun symbol because that's what it looks like to me. I'm sure there's like a specific name for it, uh, but I'm going to call it a sun. So, <laughs> um, or a little ring, a little crown. Okay, um, that is uh, definitely the citrine, uh, making me like feel a little like uh, giggly and joyful. Um, so there's citrine on this. Uh, there is red jasper, amethyst, lapis. Why does it look like it's two lapises? Just one is taller than the other because or no, so solidite and lapis sometimes have. Um, they can kind of have like related looks, but I, I can see the difference between them now. Um, Aventurine, we're looking at calcite as well. So lots of different crystalline energies as well as the clear quartz, um, little, little, little triangle pyramid. Um, that felt like it wanted to come in and sit and be with me and help during uh, this time of working with the Board of Karma. Um, these crystals as well as the serpentine. So red jasper, amethyst, solidite, lapis, green aventurine, yellow citrine, and orange calcites uh, came forth today. So let's do the protections and callings forth. Um, so callings forth, just calling back our missing soul pieces, because you obviously don't want to enter a petition to the Board of Karma when you don't have um, your wits about you. Uh, the Board of Karma is, you know, the angels basically uh, led by Archangel uh, Daniel. Uh, so it is just a different thing that the, the angels do. Uh, and I'm going to let the uh, Elfian Warriors of Divine Justice explain it a little more because that's my little human understanding of it. Um, but I'm sure the um, Elfian Warriors that work um, with Archangel Daniel and his legions can do a little bit more explaining. But before that, let's uh, do protection. So... I would like to call forth the guardian angels into the space. We're going to do a little quick protection. Um, I'm calling forth the guardian angels into the space to protect me. My guardian angels surround me in their wings. And I encourage you to close your eyes for a little bit um, and imagine your guardian angels surrounding you in your wings. I'll give you the okay when it's uh, good to open your eyes. Uh, but imagine them surrounding you in their wings, putting you in a bubble of divine light and love removing all old shields of protection to be taken and reconstituted into the highest light for the highest good of the collective all and reestablishing shields of protection, protecting the five body system with the support of the light of the tree of knowledge, the light of the tree of life, the light of the flame of truth, the light of the flower of inspiration and the violet flame as well as golden rainbow fire around the five body system and the chakra system. Now, guardian angels, I ask also for you to 
send divine light and love to our five body system and chakra systems. Protect us and our auric field. Guardian angels, establish the shields of protections against evil eyes, negativity, and jealousy. We are putting mirrors facing outwards around us to protect us from all evil eyes, all ill wishes. We are putting a shield of fire, earth, air, and water protection from the elements to protect us from all forms of negativity. Uh, we are putting ourselves in a tube, an impenetrable tube of divine light and love to keep us safe and protected. We're going to call upon all the solar the solar sun, the higher Christed sun, all the suns and solar energy, solar fire to protect us now and give us strength, recharge that solar plexus. We want to enter into the petition with the Board of Karma in a higher powered place, calling upon the oceanic frequency, the aquatic realm to bring tranquility to us now, peace and clarity of mind, a shield of swords facing outwards around us to protect our empathic ability from all humans and all animals because we can pick up different things from all of the different people and animals. And right now we want to feel our own feelings, feel who we are, anything that is not authentically ours, anything that we absorbed from anyone we relinquish it now to be burned with the flame of truth and the violet flame and divine light and love for the highest of the collective all that's reconstituted into light because it is if it does not serve me i let it go if it does not serve me i let it go we're going to call upon dragon's fire now to protect us from all energy vampires to surround us the fire of the dragon to protect us from all energy vampires. We call upon Archangel Michael's shield of protection and sword of truth to protect us now, to keep us protected from all forms of negativity, to keep our energy elevated, and to ensure that only authenticity and truth find us now. And lastly, we call upon these shields to be multiplied times infinity, forevermore until we say we want to reestablish them. Guardian angels stay with us and protect us at this time and we'll quickly call upon God watches over, God protects, Gaia anchors, Gaia grounds, the archangels of the five corners are with me now. Archangel Sandalphone from below is going to anchor me. Metatron is going to protect my light worker ability. Gabriel, clarity of mind. Michael protects me. Uriel gives me strength. Raphael heals me. And Jesus brings forth the golden Christed light into the space. And we close the uh, protection period. We feel safe and protected now. I am safe and protected. And nothing and no one can access me nor my energy without my permission. And thank you, guardian angels. While I don't need you directly with me right now, I do need you to stick and stay with me. Stay at my veil line. Stay around my aura and protect me always. Lastly, we're going to call upon the guardians of the veil to ensure that only uh, messages of higher light and love come through today and to help us in our connection, specifically to the divine justice frequency and we'll start with calling Archangel Daniel into the space in general and now you may open your eyes uh, you can feel already the um, the presence of Archangel Daniel um, as well as just the solar fire okay I'm uh, sitting on a Reiki table right now and it made a weird noise um, I'm fully in Archangel Raphael's space right now um, so feeling very protected and, and rooted and grounded. So especially when you want to do a petition of the Board of Karma, uh, having all the angels calling on all of them, um, while you are petitioning Karma and the Archangel of Divine Justice and the Justice Frequency, um, having all the angels with you because there are different aspects of your Karma and Justice, um, that are related to different things. Uh, you know, if you didn't have clarity of mind, maybe you wouldn't be able to accurately, um, you know, petition so all of the all the things are relative um and i felt personally uh just having archangel Raphael um to heal and remove anything that isn't mine can also help bring further clarity and understanding as to you know what i'm petitioning for um and also in channeling in general Raphael, good to have around so i said that was going to be quick but that was like seven minutes uh lucky number seven so I'm just going to call upon the Chief Elfian Warrior to guide the channeling um, and the petitioning of the Board of Karma uh, because 
he knows it best. He, you know, he is the the elder of um, all of them, so he can work with all different frequencies of the uh, Elfian warrior frequency. So I think it's best to call on him right now, um, especially because I'm feeling a little, I'm already feeling a little um, floaty. Um, and oddly enough, for me specifically, the chief warrior, whenever I channel him, I feel a little bit like more grounded and stable. Um, you think the earth elementals, uh, but sometimes the earth elementals make me feel floaty. <laughs> weirdly enough um I think because they're very they're like very um they're very light in elements like um and for me the sun is is grounding so everyone has their own things that are grounding for them so find something that's grounding for you to have with you um during this time whether it's connecting with the ocean I got some seashells sitting in front of me crystals um angels uh Jesus uh candles i'm referencing things books um the dragons uh tarot cards like your divinity um ancient wisdom uh, i'm looking at like ancient plays so whatever it is that that can bring you stability and grounding um is good to have with you uh to have that balance and something that makes you feel a little elevated too that that yin and yang so let's get started um also thankful Let's take uh, some time to be thankful before I start the channeling. Um, I just want to give gratitude to uh, the Elfian warriors specifically. I'm just giving them some thanks for all that they've done for me and for the collective all. I'm so grateful for all of their teachings specifically in overcoming the seven deadly concepts um, and also in ancestral healing um, and locking ancient wisdom uh, and helping me further my connection with um, Archangel Daniel and understanding karmic balance and justice. So thank you and thank you in advance for um, all the wisdom that you're gonna uh, impart on all of us today um, and just thanks to all of you who are watching for all of your supports um, and so grateful for this extra bonus day as well um, and thank you for serpentine for being here and clearing my mind every time I wear it I feel like very you know I can feel like my mind become becoming more free um, so that's it's a really good feeling to feel um, I'm feeling called to hold a crystal, uh, at this point. No, I'm not. It's not a crystal. It's a rock. Um, I'm gonna hold this during a channeling. It is, um, this is from Greece. It's a rock from Greece. It is from one of the mountains. Can't remember entirely, um, but I already feel like really grounded. So having something that brings you elevation and grounding, um, I'm gonna hold this. Um, I guess because when I'm petitioning for it's part of what I, I personally want to petition for um, is related to my family. So I'm um, having something physically from where my family is from does help as well um, with that. But you don't need to really have anything physically because um, a lot of it is energetic. So um, I'm going to do the channeling. I don't know. I'm, I'm guessing when they get to the petitioning parts, um, they might you know, the Elfian warriors might ask you to close your eyes as well. So um, we'll just be ready for for whatever um, happens next. So Chief Elfian Warrior, Divine Masculine Energy, uh, Elder of the Elfian Warriors of the Elfian Realm. When I have safely stepped back, you may step forth. Hello, beautiful beings. I am the Chief Elfian Warrior, Divine Masculine Frequency, and we're talking about the Board of Karma. The Board of Karma, something that was created uh, with the support of the beings of the Akashic Records, with the support of the beings of Justice and Karma, and the Angelic Realm. It was something created as an energetical thing to connect to, thing is the best way to call it, because it's not a a physical place it's not a physical board it is the collection and congregation of higher beings with special knowledge and abilities beyond the veil to help and support uh, you with your karmic balance um, and with clearing your karmic debt as well as anything related to justice in the human realm and that is ruled and ran by Archangel Daniel 
specifically. Now, other legions of archangels are present as it is mainly run by angels and it is also run by the beings of the Akashic Frequency and Akashic Records because... Who else to help you understand your karmic balance than the beings that work in the Akasha? So you all have guides of the Akashic Frequency, and the guides of the Akashic Frequency can help you in further understanding your story as a soul. Now, in the petitioning with the Board of Karma, what is important to note and understand is what are you petitioning for exactly? And why do you want to connect the Board of Karma? Is it because of your past lives, your present life? Is it something going on in the physical and the non-physical? It's important to, to determine uh, your petition and be very specific with your wording. Uh, I'm pulling from the uh, communicator's Akashic memory uh, right now, or her past in this lifetime, uh, when she was learning the schooling system and uh, learning how to research things on a computer and how with the computer you have to be very specific with your wording to make sure you get the result you're looking for. And that is something that is uh, to be implemented with the Board of Karma when you are petitioning for something and asking for help and asking for support. It's important to be specific and to not say that, don't say the things you don't want to happen. Don't, 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 don't say don't. <laughs> uh, but it is uh, important that when you are asking for help, say, well, I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to happen. I want this to happen. It's one, the wants and the don'ts. Two sound frequencies not to use. Um, I would like um, is, and I feel like I need at this time, and I am asking for help and support. Um, I am feeling the need to say I'm asking for hope. So someone, either the communicator or someone watching this video would like to also petition for hope, just for hope to find them. So that is uh, something that is noted. Um, the sound frequency that you use is very important as well. So I am going to guide you all uh, through a petition with the Board of Karma. So we'll ask uh, you to close your eyes and visualize what the Board of Karma looks like to you. And that could be the angels sitting there. You could see the little divine justice uh, warrior elves as well. Um, you, whatever it is that you see, maybe you see uh, Ascended Master Jesus directly right there and, and you're petitioning with him. Maybe you see uh, the guardian uh, of the earth. You see God. Maybe you see angelic mother Gaia sitting right there next to Archangel Daniel. Um, maybe you are seeing your past life selves making their presence known. What do you see? when you are visualizing the board of karma and, and your energy in that space, what what parts of you um, and what comes up for you? That can also give you just some, some clarity um, as to what is going on. Uh, and there's a lot of uncertainty going on right now in the collective all and a lot like of, you know, what's the point? There's a lot of that going on. Um, so I would like to, um, I'm gonna guide a little bit and then have the uh, communicator come through uh, and make her petition because I can't petition on her behalf. So I'll guide you all a little bit through um, just a little introductory one and then she'll make her petition um, and, and on behalf of all of you. So visualize the board of karma and what you see. And I ask all of you right now to visualize two pillars of light on your right and left side that look like lava that look like lava fire. Um, and then uh, visualize the brightest light you have ever seen behind you and the prettiest pink light you've ever seen in front of you. The pillars to your right and left are the flame of truth. So say in your mind, I invoke the flame of truth to surround me, anchor me and guide me to ensure that my connection with the uh, board of karma be true and to ensure that the messages that I receive be truthful and what I'm asking for is authentically coming from my soul. And then with the, the brightest light you've ever seen behind you, uh, that is the divine light. And uh, ask the divine light to show you, uh, show you the way. So that's the divine light, show me the way 
for what is important and necessary at this time. I would like to petition for one thing related to uh, my physical self and one thing related to my spiritual self. We'll do a group uh, petition in, in a second. Um, then with the br prettiest pink light in front of you, that is the divine love. And affirm now that I am coming from a place of divine light and love and my petition is coming from love. And if you feel like something you're petitioning for is not coming from the frequency of unconditional, universal, truly harmonious, connective love, then reevaluate. The seven tribes of the Elfian warriors hold the key to understanding the best way to petition the Board of Karma. So justice, divine justice. Have you been treated unjustly? Are you wanting, wanting, no. Are you hoping, hoping and praying that your, the justice will be done upon to you what, what you truly deserve? Are you willing to accept that maybe asking for justice could mean that something that is unpleasant may occur because maybe you're not in the right? And if you are in the right, are you able to get over the fear of it? Because a lot of people feel that fear. Well, I know I'm in the right, but I don't want to hurt somebody else. If you know you're in the right and someone caused you harm, are you able to step in your confidence and ask and say, I have been harmed. I am petitioning now for justice to be served. Kindness. Can you petition from a place of kindness? Can you use kind words about yourself and others in your petition? If you're going to go about it angrily, it's best not to go about it at all. Because that's the energy you're telling the universe you want to attract. Truly harmonious connections. Does your petition promote truly harmonious connections? What this means is don't petition harm to be done to somebody else. And don't petition for things to happen for you without considering how it may affect other people as well. Universal unity is related to that as well. Your, your unity, unity, are you searching for oneness and connection and unity with all? Or are you seeking from the self-serving place? Evaluate that. And when you're coming from the selfless place and from the place of caring for the self without being self-serving, that's going to help there be a stronger petition and one that is truly authentically coming from the soul. So what have we done thus far? Truly harmonious connections, divine justice, kindness, universal unity, divine tranquility. Are you going to approach it from a place of peace? The biggest universal petition is a petition for peace. If something is disrupting your peace, causing you to be at unease every day, petitioning to be free from things that take you away from peace is, is a good route to go on. But there is the need to be uncomfortable sometimes. So note that in your own life, if you're feeling at unease, it doesn't necessarily mean that there is something that is, is happening to you because it's some hex or some curse from another lifetime. Sometimes you need to feel uncomfortable to feel at peace. So you can petition for guidance to divine tranquility. What do I need to learn? A good question is, Archangel Daniel, what do I need to learn about my, my karmic balance, about justice? What do I need to learn? Am I in a learning moment? Now, some of you have big, serious things to petition for, but it doesn't hurt to ask about the little things, too. Uh, lastly is freedom. If something is trying to uh, take away your free will, if there's something occurring where you're not able to exercise your right, your God-given right to have free will, uh, that is something that is disrupting your peace. But also understand that in a way, even if it's not in the same way as all of you, the angelic realm has freedom as well, has free will as well. 
it's a little different. Every being has a different way of, of free will. But the angels don't have to give you what you are asking for. So remember that. And, and let me explain that a little bit more. Uh, sometimes people will petition the board of karma for things and it's coming from the I want and I, I, I desperately need from the, the physical place. And um, it's coming from, you know, not from an authentic place. If, if the angels feel like something that you are, are petitioning for isn't in your best interest, uh, they're not going to give you something that's not in your, your best interest. Um, and not for your highest good. The intention should always be what is for my highest good. Um, so take note of that. Now, when I said if there's something going on that's taking away your your freedom and, and your free will, um, note your, your freedom to express as a soul. Okay, um, that's very important. Um, the freedom to experience life um, and, and the freedom to express yourself. Um, it's important to note that that there are some things that are, are good as um, base level petition. So um, we will start with that. Now, again, there is a lot of uncertainty and second guessing. So right now, affirm with me. I believe that when I turn to faith, and the power of the angelic realm and the divine justice, free, divine justice frequency to support me, I believe that it will work. I believe and I have faith are true, very important mantras and vows. Now, the messages that I have delivered thus far in regards to the Board of Karma are things that I feel it necessary for you to know uh, for the betterment of your ascension and connection with the Board of Karma. Now, the um, petitioning part, let's allow the communicator to come back um, into the space and guide you through that. Keep your eyes closed and visualizing the Board of Karma, um, and I'll let her speak. It was lovely communicating to you all. I'm going to stay in uh, the space as I work with the Divine Justice Frequency, so if you uh, see my uh, warrior face in the, the Board of Karma, uh, that is a uh, good a good sign because um, there is representation of uh, every realm. Every realm has um, beings that work with divine justice and you may see them. You may see a, a very powerful dragon, a very powerful phoenix um, sitting at the board of karma, um, help, wanting to help because there are different ways that karma can be delivered through inspiration, through truth and through knowledge as well. Um, so I got to go be on the board uh, and let the communicator guide you through the petition. So yes, like you said, keep your eyes closed. I am back. And um, I'm going to do the, the group petition um, and then a little personal petition that I'm, I'm sure a lot of us have um, as well. Dear Board of Karma, uh, I'm turning to you now. I'm asking you at this time to help the collective all. I am asking you at this time, Board of Karma, we as a collective all have felt a lack of faith, have felt a lack of belief and a lack of hope. There's a lot of things going on in our reality, in our physical reality that makes people want to give up. There's a lot of people who just simply feel like they want to give up on life. So I petition and I ask you now, Board of Karma, to guide us and show us the way. Dear Archangel Daniel, I ask you to send your legions of angels into the lives of us all to guide us to understanding the truth of what is going on. I ask you to send the flame of truth to every inch and corner of this earth to show us the way, if you can. I ask for you to deliver the message to Archangel Gabriel, as at this moment, I don't feel his presence at the Board of Karma, but I'm sure he's here somewhere, to send his beams of clarity to us now to show us the clarity that we need. Dear Board of Karma, 
I turn to the Elfian warriors, and I ask you now to help us understand our ancestral karma. And we would like to let go of soul contracts that no longer serve us. We would like to release the karmic debt that we may carry for others that there is no way that we can clear on our own and is not in our best interest to clear. If it is not in our best interest to clear the ancestral karmic debt that we are carrying with us, I ask you now to remove that from our life. I turn now to the guides of the Akashic Records and ask to dissolve all soul contracts and vows made in past lifetimes that no longer serve us that do not serve our highest good and no longer serve the collective all. I ask to clear ties and soul contracts and relationships with people from past lifetimes that may be existing in this present lifetime that are harming our spiritual development. Anything that is not in the highest good of our ascension as a soul, I ask to be removed from our lives now. I ask and I plead to the Board of Karma now from a place of love and light, for the highest good of the collective all, that at this time we experience mass clearing and cleansing and awakening and clarity to the truth, that we clear the karmic debt and balances that no longer are able to be cleared. And what I mean by that is some things and some vows we made in past lifetimes is just simply not possible to do it in this lifetime, given the fact that the world is different now. Maybe we're carrying the karmic balance of something we did in a different reality, a different phase of the earth. And so there's no way to clear it in this reality, in this phase of the earth, because it's entirely different. And so if it's truly impossible for us to clear that debt, I ask that we no longer carry it anymore. And we ask for forgiveness for the things that we've done in past lifetimes, for the dissolvement of all debts. We ask for forgiveness for all things we've done in past lifetimes. We petition the Board of Karma to forgive our mistakes and allow us to have a clean slate in this lifetime. We ask to forgive all the things that we may have done in the past in this lifetime that may have occurred karmic debt. And we clear it now. Show us how we can repay the debts that we have occurred in this lifetime, how we can clear our karmic balance and start anew. Guide us to how we can best serve the collective all and ultimately ourselves and our highest authentic life. Board of Karma, I am asking you now, personally, and if anybody else watching this video uh, would like to make this petition as well, Right now, there is a lot of financial and legal things going on. Not just in my life, but in the lives of those around me and the collective all. I ask for true divine justice to be brought. For the truth to come to light. If there is any financial worries in your life, dear watcher of this video, I, I do encourage you to make this petition as well. I petition for all financial debts to be cleared. If we occurred the debts from a place of, what's the word? If we are in the right, if the debts occurred because of something that somebody did to us or we got tricked into signing a contract if we got tricked into something, if we were deceived, I petition the Board of Karma now for all deceptions and lies to be removed, for the truth to come to light. And if we occurred financial debt as a result of deception, I ask for that financial debt to be dissolved now. I ask for abundance to come and find us and lead us to the path that is for the betterment of our soul's ascension in this lifetime and for us to truly experience life and be free from the baggage and the weights of the materialistic world. So right now, I'm asking you, Board of Karma, if we were ever deceived in regards of our finances, that the finances that were stolen from us make their way back to us, and that all debts occurred as the result of deception be cleared. 
Dear Board of Karma, I also ask for support in any matters in regards to court and trials. If we are on the right side of the divine justice, I ask that things work in our favor. And if we are not, I ask for divine justice to be served regardless. Show us the truth. If we believe we are in the right, but we're truly in the wrong, show us why and show us how we can make things right. And dear Board of Karma, I ask you now for support in entering a new chapter of our lives. Dear listener, listening to this video and petitioning Car the Board of Karma as well, I encourage you to make this petition that I'm about to do if you are wanting to move to a new location and you are wanting to start fresh. So dear Board of Karma, I ask for your support and help in moving to a new location and moving to a new place where we can start fresh. Dear Board of Karma, we have been experiencing so much stagnity in our lives. Things have been at a standstill. We're ready for change and we're ready to serve the highest good of the collective all. We're ready to make moves and move mountains with our with our belief, with our hope, with our faith, with our power, with our work, with our abilities. We are ready to change lives and change the world. We're ready to change our own lives. We're ready to experience peace and happiness and joy. So I ask you now to help guide us and take us to that new physical location that will help bring us to that place for our highest good, the place of joy, of happiness, of service to the collective all and of uh, to ourselves, not from a self-serving place, but from a place of honoring our souls. I would like to honor my soul, dear Board of Karma. I would like to honor my mission and purpose in this lifetime. And I know that where I'm at right now is not where I'm supposed to be. I know that my soul is calling to do work and I have soul contracts that are meant to be stayed, the soul contracts for my highest good and the highest good of the other people and the other souls. I trust that you're only going to remove the negative soul contracts. So for the positive ones, I can feel them pulling me to another place. So can you please guide me there? Take me there in divine timing. Show me how to get there in divine timing. And I am trusting your divine timing and your divinity now, Board of Karma. Dear Archangel Daniel, I am asking you now as a being of divine light and love, Please, on behalf of the collective all, help us start fresh. Start anew. Help us be free from worries, fears, and anxieties that may hold us back. We are ready to start something new. I am ready. And I trust that you will take us there. Now, if you have any other final petitions for the Board of Karma, I am going to just play some music and give you this time to continue um, petitioning the Board of Karma.
Court of Karma went well. Here is one final message about karmic balance and karmic debts um, and how you can continue to connect with the divine justice, divine justice frequency and Archangel Daniel moving forward. So let's allow the divine justice warrior, divine feminine frequency, she's going to step through. She's a warrior of divine justice and an Elphian. In just one second. Hello, beautiful soul. Hope you enjoyed your petition with the Board of Karma and you are able to start accepting the miracles in your own life. Now, after a petition with the Board of Karma, it is encouraged to sit down and journal the experience that has been done. Oftentimes, in petitions with the Board of Karma, you may receive messages and direct communication at your time of petition. And other times, you may receive messages and insights later on and clarity and signs and symbols of what to expect moving forward. So for the next three days, it is highly encouraged to carry a journal with you and pay attention to the messages that the angelic realm is sending forth to you and that the divine justice frequency is as well. It's highly encouraged that for the symbol of your grounding and elevation that you carried with you during your petition, like our communicator had the serpentine and the rock from Greece with her for her higher ascension and grounding and stability, it is encouraged to spend time reflecting with those energies and seeing the messages that may come forth, as oftentimes they carry ancient wisdom within them to help offer you ancient wisdom as well. If you offered petitions uh, for your ancestral lineage, uh, it is encouraged to do a bit of a reflection and connection with your ancestral lineage after your petition um, and see how it went and see if you need to petition again. You can always petition and connect to the divine justice frequency at any point in time in your life. It's important to do so. Archangel Daniel and his legion of angels and little helpers like myself um, and other beings from other higher realms that work with the divine justice frequency and under the guidance of Archangel Daniel would like to help and offer you support at any time. We just need to be asked. When you take the time to sit and petition the Board of Karma like you just did, you are asking for help. And the angelic realm and Heavenly Father God and angelic Mother Gaia and Ascended Master Jesus as well and other higher Ascended Masters can also help and offer you support. Saints as well, dragons, phoenixes, whatever it may be. Once you ask for help, Beings of higher light and love who have the tools and abilities and resources beyond the veil to support you and help you will help you. You just need to ask for help. So it's important to take that dedicated time with the Divine Justice Frequency and with your Akashic Records Guide and with your karmic balance and, and hold your karmic balance in front of you. Look at it and, and ask for help and support. So continue to do that. Karmic debt is something that you all came to clear in this lifetime. So affirm with me now, I am clearing all my karmic debt. It's important to do so. To, for higher ascension and elevation, for the chance to be free in this lifetime, for the chance to feel free and to experience life and higher ascended life. Also, with the way that the earth is ascending, it's important to get those things done. Because if you want the neo-golden age to occur, it's important to enter it from a different place than before. Before, the new golden age was entered with karmic debts still being had, with old soul contracts and ties not dissolved, uh, with some things left undone. So even though we all, all higher beings, were distracted with the fact that the earth ascended to a higher level, we may not have noticed that there were still things that needed to be cleared. But now we do, we see that. And I'm sure that the creator and the sources all were able to identify and see that the earth was gonna fall again. And so this time it's important to enter everything with a clean slate, especially if you're wanting the rise of the new golden age to occur, it's important to have a clean slate. Because each time there's a rise of a new golden age, it gets a little bit harder. And that's because we all, as a collective all, you all, us all, the universal unity of it all, notice and acknowledge the mistakes that have been made before 
and don't want to repeat history. And it's important not to repeat history because if you're repeating history, you're just telling a story that's already been told. It's time to tell a new one. And that's all I have left to say. Goodbye for now and stay inspired. May the petals of the flower of inspiration lead you back to us again. Love and light.